Dude, what would happen if we tried to take dodgeball to the next level? Ah! Attempted to bring on the noise big time. Release! That's loud. And tried to bring cartoon stunts to life. Here it comes, here it comes. He's not gonna hit it. Please work. This is gonna be fantastical. Ali is crazy and cool at the same time. He thinks of stuff you'd never really come up with. I describe Jackson as funny, wild, and totally nuts. Hand me the banana and no one will get hurt. CJ is the ultimate in cool. Ah! He pushes everything to its limit, whereas I just want to see stuff explode. Ah! Dodgeball yeah, is right. so wet. Nah, dude, dodgeball is way no, fun. Dude, no. Dodgeball sucks. This thing needs an upgrade. It needs to be 10 times more extreme. It needs to be like a video game. What do we like about video games so much that always like takes us into their world? You know what I love about video games? What, man? When stuff just gets blasted at you. <sighs> that is the best. So let's get like an army dude, like from a video game. Right. To blast us with these dodgeballs. What if he had like a dodgeball cannon? Dude, what if we competed in machine gun dodgeball? Yeah, we're gonna one-up it today. Dude, we got this crazy cannon to shoot dodgeballs. Now, this is dodgeball military stuff. So, the rules are simple. If you get hit five times, you're out. Last man standing wins. So, dude, what would happen if we played machine gun dodgeball? We got moves. I'm not scared. Bring it on! He just started picking us off one by one, dude. He knew exactly what he was doing. He was going for heads. The numbers started racking up quick. Ali won, Jackson two, and I had Zip. I'm fine. All right, so we set up these decoys to like confuse the shooter, dude. They were cool, but they didn't last very long. Oh, oh whoa! <laughs> Jackson, your leg Jackson, is broken. Jackson, no. no! And that left us with nowhere to hide. Oh. Oh. Whoa! I mean, it was like rapid fire. Bang, bang, bang! Oh. 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 Jackson got hit three times. I had two. I'll leave four. Five hits, and we were out. Ah. That's far for you, Jackson. Ah. He was going for blood. Oh! oh. oh. Ooh, CJ got pop. Not cool. Time out, dude down. I'm not sure, but I think I was out for a second. I'm good. We gotta get back in the game. We gotta get back in the game. I've never been in pain like that before, and I never want to again. Are you okay? No. It's all right. It's all right. I gotta give it to CJ, though. Right after he got hit, right back up, back into the game. We were tied. I had four, Ali four, and Jackson four. Ali was the first one to get five hits. <laughs> that last hit really hurt. Okay, so now it was a tie game between me and Jackson. What? One more and you're gone. That didn't hit me. That didn't hit me. Didn't one hit. more and you're gone. The rebound. Oh! <laughs> That's five for you. Ah! Jackson held it down. He's my hero for real. <laughs> I did it! You won! Did it! The dodgeball champion! We created machine gun dodgeball. That's you how it. you play some dodgeball. OK, so the cannon is crazy. But let's say we take it up one more level. What would happen if we played dodgeball in the dark? How are we going to see? You can't. That's the beauty of it. It would amp the game up so much. It would, because you don't know when you're about to get hit. Exactly. And you don't know when you're about to hit somebody else. I'm going to set up some night vision and I'm gonna be on your guys' side. You won't be able to see, but I will. I will be your force. I will be your smell. I will be your eyes. Yeah, I don't know what smelling anything has to do with dodgeball, but I'm down. Dude, what would happen if we played dodgeball in the dark? So the rules are simple. All right. You guys got two minutes against three huge dudes with night vision goggles. You get points for hitting them and lose points for getting hit. All right, hit the lights. As soon as those lights went out, I felt like I was in complete danger because I can't see anything. This is not good for dodgeball. 
All right, so I was their eyes up there watching the monitor. But if I took my eyes away for one second, they would get slaughtered. I can't see anything. I can't see. All right, you guys got to survive for two minutes. These are point meters. They go up when we hit a night vision, dude, and down when we get hit. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Start it up. Oh, DJ, you got hit. Right away, I hear this dodgeball whiz right by me. It sounded like it was going 100 miles an hour. Ah! And I realized this was not going to be easy. Where are they? Ali, on your right. Hey, careful, you're right next to each other. Uh! I'm like bumping into the CJ all over the place. Big guy. Wow. Yeah, he's right there. I'm shouting commands, but I don't even know if they're listening. CJ, yeah. what's your right? Ah! CJ and I were getting bombarded by all these dodgeballs. One minute left, dudes. Ah! <laughs> All right, so I'll admit, even though I was trying to help them, it was really fun watching these guys get blasted. CJ, he's right in front of you, nail him! Jackson hooked me up with some great coordinates so I could whip those dodgeballs at those guys. <laughs> Got him! Those dodgeball beasts grunted, so I aimed for the grunts. You suck! Got you! Get out of your butt! In your butt! Take that, Mr. Man! All right, you guys got 30 seconds left. <laughs> Time was running out, and I was starting to get comfortable till I got hit in the face with a monster shot. Oh! I am so glad I'm up here. Ali, use the ball to block the hits. Oh, fuck! Fuck! Oh, another hit! Ten seconds left. I turned it up. Five, four, three, two, one. It's over! Finally. You know what? My boy Ali took this. He rose to the dodgeball in the dark challenge. Let's all agree on this one fact. What? Night vision dodgeball is spectacular amazing full. OK, so we figured out we can play dodgeball with a cannon. Right. We figured out we can play dodgeball in the dark. Double check. How do we take dodgeball even more into the gaming realm and just take it totally futuristic? All right, we need some sci-fi space stuff. We need some yeah. stuff that isn't possible, like flying. You know what my favorite futuristic space games have? Aliens. I got it. So, dude, what would happen if we took on aliens in anti-gravity dodgeball? Let's do it. <laughs> We've got us our aliens. We've got us our bungees to get some major air. It was wild. We had complete bounce control. Dude, we are the best live gamers ever. Our goal was to take out as many aliens as we could in under two minutes. We hit them with one ball, they're out. We can get hit as many times as we want. Five, four, three, two, one. Don't let's go! go! So we're about to play dodgeball on Bungie. Our goal was to take out as many aliens as we could in under two minutes. We hit them with one ball, they're out. Five, four, three, two, one. Don't Let's go! go. Oh, oh, ow. Ow, ow. <laughs> when the game started, we let the aliens have a few free shots before we turn it up and show them how it's done. Ah. Little did we know these wet alien balls really hurt. Just getting used to those bungees, but they had no remorse. They were going for some human blood. We had enough of these stinky aliens pummeling us. It was time to turn the tables. Arm yourselves! Get a ball! Arm yourselves! We squatted down and grabbed those disgusting balls. We were gonna turn this thing around. Things started changing around and we started talking to each other. CJ, watch your left. All in. Turn you up. CJ, east right. of you. Man, it was like boom, boom, boom. Perfectly executed. We would sweep to the ground, grab the ball, jump up, and boom, hit an alien. It was like clockwork. Go for the ones on your left, CJ. On your left. Go. Only two to go. We needed to nail it. Ugh. Got him. We got one, one left. left. There was one left. It turned into a two-man showdown. Me versus the last alien standing. So I threw one ball at him and boom, ah! sidesteps. I didn't even know that aliens could sidestep. So I jumped up as high as I could 
and use the momentum of that. Wow! Boom! Yeah! Yeah! Nailed. It was over. That's it, Jackson. That's all of them. Woo! It was like we stepped into a real-life video game. This was bungee dodgeball. And it worked. So, dude, what would happen if we played machine gun dodgeball? A bruising success. Dude, what would happen if we played dodgeball in the dark? Oh! It was spectacular amazingful. And, dude, what would happen if we took on aliens in anti-gravity dodgeball? A soaring triumph! Jackson, Do we not? It is loud. Stop. Dude. What if we tried to make the loudest sound that we possibly could? We need to make a bigger noise. The biggest noise ever. The biggest noise possible without using the megaphone. Put it down now. Put it down. All right, all right, all right. I'm sorry. Balloons pop. Yetis make a lot of noise. Whoopee cushions. Yeah, like a big fart noise. Bunch of whoopee cushions and we all step on them with just one long, sustained fart noise. Dude, what would happen if we tried to make the largest fart sound using a hundred whoopee cushions? Check, check. Our lab dude took this up with a microphone and it went through all the high-tech gear and it gave us a meter between one and 10 to see how loud the noise was. Our test fart hit a one on the meter. So we knew we were gonna need a lot of whoopee cushions because we take our farting seriously. This platform is like, squishing like a hundred whoopee cushions. If we were gonna make this whoopee cushion thing work, it was gonna take all three of us working as a team to make that loud fart noise that we wanted. Three, three, two, one, go! And that was weak. That was a four on the scale. The whoopee cushions weren't really working out because we couldn't figure out how to hit all of them at the exact same time to make one loud fart noise. Okay, so this is a philosophy I've been living with all of my life. When all else fails, have a dance-off. Let's do it! I decided to have a dance-off because our feet would be moving all over the place really fast, hitting every one of those whoopee cushions individually. So Ali takes the dance floor first. Man, I love seeing that kid dance. Jackson, he did the crazy fart dance. He went nuts. And then CJ takes to the platform. Dude, he's the best dancer out of all of us. Go CJ! Go CJ! Go CJ! Woo! <laughs> nice! Sick! Nice, Thanks. bro. Woo! As much noise as we made, it only went up to a four. What? I've heard louder farts from my friends. We need to go out with a bang, dude. All right, so we need something bigger than a whoopee cushion, and it's just louder. We need to inflate the world's biggest whoopee cushion. Pop! It's gonna make the biggest noise ever. Ever! On the sound meter, I guarantee it's over a nine. We're breaking sound barriers right now. So, dude, what would happen if we tried to make the loudest fart sound using a giant whoopee cushion? Sound check, sound check. Harnesses are not dude friendly. They are painful. They hurt everything down south. This feels good. I'm lying. Dude, we got a 10 foot paper bag here acting as our whoopee cushion. We got an air compressor filling it up. How do you feel, CJ? I feel great. What sound is it gonna make? What do you think, Jackson? What's gonna happen, man? Boo! I knew this paper bag was gonna make a completely crazy loud noise. You guys ready? Yeah. Man, your bungee corners! And you don't get a second chance to pop a bag this big, so we've gotta make this one count. All right, in three, two, one, release! Ah! Our loudest fart noise experiment only gave us a four on the noise meter. We're hoping this giant whoopee cushion will give us a 10. So we were harnessed up. We knew that we had one chance to make the loudest fart noise ever. All right, in three, two, one, release! Ah! 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 Nice, Woo! nice! <laughs> Was it loud? 
That was a nine. That was a nine. That oh, was a nine. Crazy. We hit a nine. That was a big boom. I heard that. How do you feel? I feel great. I saw the bag coming right at me, and all I did was I, I tucked my shoulder, and I closed my eyes, and the next thing I knew, there was a big noise, and uh, the bag was ripped. I'd say it was the coolest thing in the world. So, dude, what would happen if we tried to make the largest fart sound using 100 whoopee cushions? Silent but deadly. And, dude, what would happen if we tried to make the loudest fart sound using a giant whoopee cushion? An epic blast. I feel like Indiana Jones. I'm just not saving anybody. <laughs> no, don't drive in there. That's a painting. Oh! oh. I love how anything can happen in cartoons. Absolutely. Uh, Nothing better. Dude, how cool would it be if we could just bring cartoon stunts out of the TV into real life? I think a good one is a snowball is rolling down the hill, you know, and it keeps on gathering up snow. Oh, yeah. And it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, and then it rolls over the cat. We have to do the cat versus mouse. We always know who wins there. That's exactly. the mouse. The mouse. Cat always ends up in a pancake form. So we're going to need a cat. A huge, steep hill full of snow. The mouse ball. And we're going to need a mouse. Who wants to be the mouse? That's you. All me, baby. All you. All me. I got this. Nice. OK, so let me get this straight. We have a 28 degree angle grade on this hill with a yes. six foot ball that you're going to be in trying to crush a five and a half foot cat. Honestly, no cat is going to get away from a mouse in a cartoon ball going that fast down that hill. I think it's going to turn that cat flat. I didn't think it was going to do it, but we were going to find out. All right, so dudes, what would happen if, just like in cartoons, a cat tried to outrun a mouse in a giant snowball? Let's go! Oh, look, at, look, at, look at the cat. <laughs> Dude, that was... <laughs> <laughs> he actually ran him over. Totally flattens him. It was actually like the cartoon. Wow, wow, wow. Grab a medic. Dude! Oh, man. <laughs> Get up, man. Get up. Ah. Woo. Dude, what was the best part of running over that cat? Man, right when I ran over him, I realized that that feline was no longer. It was a pretty hectic journey. Right when I got into that ball, it got pretty sweaty. Right when I started rolling, I was aiming right for the cat. Right when I felt I was going to roll over him, I gained up as much speed as I could, and I nailed it. They totally got that cat flat. No more cat. What? You got to get out of here. You're not yeah, part yeah. of us. You're not in our group. Get him, Mouse. Get him. All right, what's our favorite classic cartoon stunt? The Roadrunner versus the Coyote. Oh, yeah. oh dude, always. Oh. That is so classic. So how could we take a stunt from the Roadrunner versus the Coyote and bring that from a cartoon to real life? We take a dude dressed as a coyote, have him get into a plane, jump out of it, parachute down, land on a target on a teeter-totter, which will trigger a boulder landing on a Roadrunner. But we totally have to pull a nice little switcheroo. Classic cartoon trick. Because he always lands on himself, whether he knows it or not. This is going to be cool. We rolled up, and we saw this giant 40-foot seesaw. This setup that we got here is like a cartoon. So I think we need to summon our coyote friend. Right. Coyote call. <laughs> High five. We got to do this. But Mr. Coyote. Damn. Damn. Woo! Hey, Mr. Coyote, if you don't mind, sir, uh, would you like to help us move this boulder in place? Oh. So what the coyote thinks is that when he lands on the target, that it's going to launch this boulder right onto the road runner. Push! Oh. That boulder was pretty heavy. That looks good. Now we must put road runner in crush zone. Right, hey. Mr. Coyote. Why don't you catch that flight that you have to take? We'll make sure the road runner stays here. All right. So the next time we see you, Mr. Coyote, the boulder will be sure to crush the road runner. Nothing else is going to be crushed but this road runner over here. Nothing else, you know? So we sent the coyote on his way so we can go up in the plane and do his jump. Is he gone? Yeah, he's gone. All right, let's get this road runner out of here so we can do what we came here to do. While he was gone, we did the old switcheroo. We brought in a coyote to replace the Roadrunner. All right, so dude, 
what would happen if a coyote jumped out of a plane and tried to crush a roadrunner with a boulder? Oops. I mean a coyote. Dude, I can't even see the plane. It's so high. He's not gonna hit it. Yeah, he is. He's gonna hit it. It's gonna be okay. I want it to work. I made the target pretty big. Please work. All right, where is he? Oh, there he is. Oh, I see him. Oh, my Woo! gosh, I see him. This coyote has some parachuting skills. He's done this before. Woo! Got him go. Look at him, CJ. Mr. Oh, coyote. 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 Right here. Here he comes. He's coming in. He's coming in, guys. He's coming oh, in no, so no, fast. No, 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 no. So this coyote is jumping out of a plane and trying to crush a roadrunner with a boulder. So while our coyote was gone in the plane, we replaced the roadrunner with another coyote. That little coyote didn't even realize it, but he's about to pound another coyote with the boulder. Here oh, he comes, here he comes. He's doing it, he's coming in. Here he comes. He's coming in, he's coming in, guys. He's coming in too fast. Go ahead, run up, run up. Run up. Run up. You got it. No, no, no. Oh. <laughs> Look at it. Dude, the coyote actually landed on the seesaw, which launched up the other side of the seesaw, which launched the boulder right onto the coyote. Wait, let's crush it some more. <laughs> we pulled off this amazing cartoon stunt. It doesn't get any better than that. I'm sorry, we had to. We had to. So, dude, what would happen if a cat tried to outrun a mouse in a giant snowball? Ah! A flat cat. And, dude, what would happen if a coyote jumped out of a plane and tried to crush a roadrunner with the boulder? Roadrunner gets away, and like always in cartoons, the coyote has a bad day. This just goes to show, nothing good comes out of being a coyote. <laughs> Ever. So today, we figured out how to make dodgeball more hardcore like a video game. What it takes to make the loudest fart ever and prove that in real life or cartoons, coyotes never win. <laughs>